Welcome sa sip9.com. Uh, itutuloy natin yung ating series on percent. No? At uh, pangatlong video na natin ito. Yung ating problem in the election held for class president, the votes were distributed as follows. No? Kumalaking klase ito, no? 200. Malamang uh, dalawang sections ito. No? So, or tatlo. So, what is the total number of votes? And then, express the quotient of the number of votes for Pedro and the total number of votes as a number one fraction, decimal, and percent. No? So, meron tayong ilan, anong unang tanong natin? The total number of votes, yung unang tanong natin. So, meron tayong 64. This is 4 plus 6 is 10. No? 10. And then, carry 1. Carry 1 dito, so... 6 plus 5 is 11, 12, 20. So, maraming 200 votes. No? In total, votes natin is 200. So, yun yung unang tanong natin. Yung number 1 natin na uh, representation, i-represent natin siya if, as fraction. So, si yung number of votes ni, 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 ni Pedro. So, that's 80 out of 200. No? So, ibig sabihin na number of votes uh, the representation of the number of votes of Pedro in percent, no, 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 in fraction is 80 over 200, no? Okay, so sa number 2, we have decimal. Ano ang ginagawa natin sa decimal? Tinidivide lang natin yung numerator dun sa denominator, no? So, pwede natin i-lowest terms siya, no? So, 80 over 200, para mas maliit yung i-divide natin, pwede natin divide ng 10, no? Yung uh, uh, both the numerator and the denominator. So, we have 80 divided by 10 is 8, and then 20 divided by 10 is 20, no? And then, pwede pa natin divide by 4, di ba? So, by 4, uh, divide by 4. That becomes 2 fifth, no? Huh? So, 2 over 5. Remember, ito yung nasa loob, ah, yung ating uh, uh, dividend yung nasa loob. So, can it be we have to put one decimal place? So, zero, zero yan, zero dito. So, four. mag add tayo ng zero, four times five is twenty. No? So, ibig sabihin yung kanyang decimal uh, representation ay 0.4. And in percent, sabi natin percent is per hundred, no? Uh, of course, since 200, ito gagawa tayo ng paraan para maging 100 siya, no? 80 over 200. Of course, you can use this, no? But uh, we are highlighting yung percent dito from, fra from the uh, fractions. So, para siya maging 100, anong gagawin natin? Divide natin siya by 2, no? Both the numerator and the denominator and we have 40 over 100. O pag out of 100, pwede na siyang percent. So, ito yung percentage sa taas. We have 3, 40%. No? And again, pag uh, fraction, pwede lang tayo mag-divide at mag-times uh, ng parehong number no? sa numerator at denominator. Hindi natin binabago yung value katulad ng uh, pag nag-plus tayo or nag-minus tayo, magbabago yun. But here, we are just uh, multiplying it by 1. 2 over 2 is 1. So, wala tayong problema. No? So, yun ang palaging pagkoconvert. Okay, so nasagot na natin yung tatlong tanong. Uh, we have fraction, decimal, and percent. Kung mapapansin niyo meron tayong napag-aralan. No? Kung babalikan niyo yung previous video, yung video number 2. Ang napag-aralan na natin na percent, decimal, at saka fraction. Balikan niyo na lang, no? but uh, bibigay ko sa inyo yung uh, numbers. We have 35%. Tapos meron tayong 70%. Tsaka meron tayong 40%. Yung nandito ngayon, no? 40%. So, ang decimal nito ay... No? Pag-aaralan na rin natin. Balikan yung video. Maging 0 0.35, 0 0.70, or 0 0.7. And then, 0 0.4. And then, yung fraction natin is 35 over 100. Ito naman ay... Uh, 70 over 100 at ito naman ay 40 over 100. Of course, kung ito yung fractions natin, kung gusto natin i-lowest terms, pwede pa rin natin i-lowest terms. 
by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by their uh, greatest common factor. For example, ito ay greatest common factor na ay 20, di ba? So, 20 divided by 20, we have 2 fifths. Of course, we have, ito naman ay, pwede lang 10 ito, no? So, divided by 10, divided by 10, this becomes 7 over 10. So, lowest terms are yan. And ito, by 5, no? Divided by 5, divided by 5, that's uh, 7 over 20. So, lowest terms are yan. Okay? So, anong napapansin ninyo? Pag, uh, pag percent, for example, gagawin yung decimal. Diba? I-divide yun lang sa 100 by uh, 100 and then makukuha yung decimal, no? Dividing by 100 is the same as moving the decimal point to the left twice. So, ang 35.0 magiging 0.35. Ang 70 magiging 0.70 or 0.7. And then yung 40 magiging 0.40 or 0.4. No? So yung bakit siya 0.4, pwede natin isulat na 0.4 kasi pag puro 0 na yung nasa kanan natin, yung pag mga 0 na, tapos wala na susunod na number, pag naka decimal place tayo, pwede na natin yan tanggalin. But this is also correct. Pareho silang correct, no? Pero pag 0 lang yan nandito, tapos uh, uh, wala naman siyang number na nasa kanan pa, kundi 0 lang, puro 0 kung maaari yan ay uh, wala siyang ibang number, pwede na natin tanggalin yung, uh, yung zero na yan. It doesn't change the value, no? Okay, so I think uh, yan yung ating uh, uh, pangalang, pangatlong video. Gusto kayong uh, imbitahan sa sipinahin.com sa ating website. And of course, if you want to subscribe to our channel, just click the subscribe button below the video. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.